Hello everyone, Semima here from Bombay Tool Supply Agency Private Limited, India. In this video, I will show you the functions and the step-by-step -step operation of 2D height gauge. A 2D height gauge is a precision measuring instrument used to measure the height or thickness of objects in two dimensions. It is commonly used in industries where accuracy and precision are crucial such as aerospace, automotive, semiconductor manufacturing, etc. These are the parts of 2D height gauge, base, vertical column or beam, slider, slider raising handle, upper and lower probe holder, probe, power grip, floating switches, data processing unit, LCD display and key panel. I have placed it on a Jafuji make zero grade surface plate. Let's see the various options that can be measured using 2D height gauge. This downward arrow measures the height of an upward facing surface. Circle with arrow icon measures the diameter and center of a hole. The inward arrow icon measures the width of an inner part. Inward arrow with center dotted line calculates the width and center position between two elements. Upward arrow measures the height of a downward facing surface. Inward arrows over a circle measures the diameter and center of a shaft. These inward arrows measures the outer width. Zero symbol sets the absolute origin. Downward half a circle with arrows measures the maximum height of a downward or upward facing surface. Upward half a circle with arrows measures the minimum height of an upward or downward facing surface. This icon measures the displacement, maximum height minus minimum height of an upward or downward facing surface. Probe icon sets the probe type and diameter. Zero button sets the tolerance judgment status. Info button displays information. Print button is used for printing. Calculate button is used to perform a calculation based on measured elements. Other button is used to perform special measurements. 2D button is used to perform 2D measurements. Run is used to measure repeated measurements. Teach is used to perform teaching measurements. Edit is used to edit a part program. File is to manage files. Stat button is used to perform statistical calculations. System is used to enter system configuration settings. On the flip side of data processing unit, there is an on off switch and various other output channels like TP, RS232C, Digimatic in, two USB ports and printer. Let's turn on the instrument. The LCD display has the title, name area and guidance display area. To perform various operations, let's fix the probe initially. Move the slider to the highest point to sense the compensation reference. Wait until the beep sound. Absolute zero must be set before we start measurement. Set the probe calibration block on the surface plate. Let's set the probe diameter. Press probe key and select second option. Measure upward and downward positions Wait until the buzzer sounds. Now our probe diameter is calculated. Let's see the various measurement options in detail. Set absolute origin before measurement. Press downward arrow to measure height. This function performs scanning or tracing measurement on the bottom and top of a hole to determine the diameter. Move the workpiece or main unit to perform scanning. Z is the coordinate axis and D is the diameter. This function measures the bottom and top positions of an inside width element to determine the inside width W and the center coordinate axis Z. This function loads two measured elements Distances are calculated based on previously measured elements, hence two positions must be measured before using this function. Upward arrow measures the downward facing surface of a workpiece and determines the height distance between the current origin and the measuring position. This function performs scanning measurement on the bottom and top of a shaft. Move the probe to the bottom contact surface and scan. Then move the probe to the top contact surface and scan to determine the shaft's diameter and center coordinate axis. This function 
measures the bottom and the top position of an outside width element to determine the outside width w and the center coordinate axis z. The probe moves upward to measure the bottom surface and the probe moves downward to measure the upward surface. Absolute origin measures the upper surface of the surface plate on which the linear height is installed and sets the absolute origin. All measured distances will be calculated from this origin. To set incremental origin, it is necessary to first measure the position that is to serve as the reference point on the workpiece. Then offset dimension is entered, hence incremental origin is set. This function toggles between absolute origin and incremental origin. First set the absolute origin. Then set the incremental origin. The selected origin will be switched automatically. This offset origin is used in two cases. One, when the probe does not reach the surface plate. Two, when a tapered probe is used. Let's measure each step height. It reads 30 mm. The second step measures 85 mm. And the third step measures 135 mm. Now set the offset origin value. We'll set it as 20 mm. We shall again remeasure the heights. The first step reads 50 mm. The second step reads 105 mm. And the third step reads 155 mm. This function performs scanning measurement on the downward facing surface of a workpiece to determine the maximum height. The same operation is performed on a shaft. This function performs scanning measurement on the downward facing surface of the workpiece to determine the maximum height. The same operation is repeated on the shaft. This function performs scanning measurement on the upward facing surface of a workpiece to determine the maximum value ZL, minimum value ZS and coordinate difference ZD between these heights. The same operation is performed in the downward facing surface, maximum value ZL, minimum value ZS and coordinate difference ZD is measured. This judgment status is effective when measuring a large volume of identical workpiece without creating a part program. Let's enter the judgment conditions, minus 0.2 mm and plus 0.2 mm for 145 mm height. Execute height measurement command. This measurement is within our tolerance limit. Let's do another measurement. This is not within tolerance. Info button displays a list of operational steps stored in the internal memory. These are our previous measurements. This function is used for printing. To calculate angle, we require two measured parameters. This determines the angle of inclination between the two measured elements. Select the measured heights and enter gauge dimension. Formulas can also be entered with numerical values and the result is not given in any particular unit. Other key commands, pause, hold position, digimatic input, perpendicularity and pitch measurement. The 2D sequence follows 1DZ, 2DZ, 2DX, 2DZX and back to 1DZ. 
Measurement is done using 2DZ. Mark all circles to identify and measure one by one using diameter command. 2D analysis allows to combine Z-axis and X-axis measurement data to obtain measured results in 2D coordinates. This function changes from 2DZ to 2DX measurement axis. Enter a positive value for counterclockwise and positive for clockwise rotation. Let's enter plus 90 degrees. Repeat the same sequence as we did on 2DZ. Correct measurement results will not be obtained if the actual rotation angle of the workpiece is not the same as entered. Now change the function from 2dx to 2dzx. Measured data result can be viewed. Press calculate to view every 2d option. The first one is to measure diameter. Select the required circle. Z and X are the coordinate axis and D is the diameter in mm. The second option is to view polar coordinates. Select the required circle. L and A can be measured. L is the radial distance from origin and A is the angle. The third option is to view coordinate distance. This function loads two measured elements that consist of 2D data and determines coordinate difference between x-axis and z-axis, xd and zd. The fourth option is to view distance and angle between two circles. Select any two circles. LC is the distance and A is the angle. The fifth option is to view angle of intersection CA between two lines drawn through the circles from the origin. Select any two circles. CA is the angle of intersection. The sixth option is also similar to the fifth option, but the angle of intersection is taken from the second circle and not from the origin. Select any three circles. CA is the angle of intersection. The seventh option is pitch circle. In this option, three or more circles are to be selected to determine the center XZ coordinates and diameter of the pitch circle. Correct result will not be obtained if the selected circles are not used in pitch circle. Let's see how to use teach and run options. Press teach and enter an operation name. I have selected width. Measure the width of the component. I would also like to add height operation. Now a part program is created. Let's run the command. Read the repetition depending on usage. Now the program runs automatically. Enter for height measurement. Confirm the repetition. Part program, which was already created, can be edited in teaching mode. Add a measurement command. Let's specify the height as 95 mm. Feed the tolerance. Our part program is inserted. Let's run the edited part program. We have already created width and height and have newly inserted another height width tolerance. The program runs automatically. If we turn on the step execution off, program will run without stopping.
This is our added measurement. In file option, we can edit, delete, rename and copy any part program. For backup, restore and output of data, it can be done only by connecting RS-232C interface. The statistical function displays statistical results and histograms based on result data collected through repeated measurements. Range of calculated data can be changed using data range. Method for creating histogram can be changed using histogram condition. In system configuration, under measure conditions, semi-floating can be turned on or off, measuring speed can be selected, scale factor can be adjusted, temperature composition can be turned on or off, ambient temperature is set, Workpiece temperature can be adjusted. Thermal expansion can be defined. Workpiece material can be selected. Under automatic measurement, input sensitivity is defined in mm. Stabilizing time in seconds. Scanning start in mm. Scan over travel in MM. Auto positioning can be turned on or off. Moving speed is defined. Auto travel distance can be defined in MM. Waiting time is defined in seconds. Under parameters, auto labeling can be turned on or off. Warning can be set, auto printing can be activated, data output can be defined. Under device, LCD brightness, LCD light, buzzer volume, clicking sound, printer, rod rate, RS-232 port, data output can be set. Under system, Language, Unit, Digits, Date Format, Date, Time, Password, Suspension Time, Initialization can be set. I hope this video was informative. I'll come up with another interesting video. Do subscribe to our channel and visit our website www.ptsa.in.